Hello folks, how are you today? Well, Heather and I thought we would take a little quick run into the bush here and get a load of logs. We needed some more for our mill. We just have some smaller logs out there. We might get some two by fours out of there, but I really want to maybe get some two by six, two by eights. Maybe build ourselves a table later on down the road or maybe even just some firewood. So anyways, basically what I do in here is I come in, I have some trails established that I made the day before that I ended up, uh, uh, I just make a trail in on, on a, Daytime when the sun's out, you know, it doesn't really matter. But at night the trail ends up freezing really hard and the snow ends up becoming just like pavement. So what I will do is I'll drop a tree down typically and I will pull two 16 foot four inch logs out of there at a time. And then when I get out to the sleigh, I ended up cutting those into uh, eight foot two inch long. So I skidded out six of them already here. You can see in the background and I'm just going to cut those in half. So I should end up with 12 logs. I'm going to load my bobsleighs with that I built uh, and then I'm going to hook onto it with the uh, Alpine and we're going to pull it out. Now Heather did get a small load of firewood. She cut up herself in fact with the battery saw. She cut it down and she cut it up and she put it in the sleigh as well. She's pulling a little sleigh uh, behind her Bravo long track. Maybe we'll get some footage of that as well. So I, I'm really trying to get her, like she wants to cut all the time and I understand that. Uh, so I wanna supervise and make sure she's not going to get hurt, but she's doing really good so far. She's cutting probably as good as anybody can. I, I'm quite impressed with the way she's cutting. So she ended up getting enough firewood to last us probably two nights just herself. So say if I broke my leg or something happened, she could easily keep the homestead going as far as heat goes. She knows how to start her own snowmobile. She knows how to drive it. She knows how to pull a sleigh really good now. Uh, she can cut down a tree. She can buck it up into 16 inch stove wood and uh, she'll have no problem. Anyways, we're going to get this loaded, folks. I'm gonna get these bobsleighs turned around. Now, I don't know how well they're going to pull because there may be frost and stuff froze to the bottom of the skis because when I pulled it in, the sleighs were light, so they probably didn't rub much off.
finish looming these. straighten out your bumps, make sure they're even. They're good there. Okay. They'll straighten out once they go ahead. Heavy speed. Wait here. Yep, yep it's going to go on the far side. It's easier, right? Just walk around. You don't have to lift your end, babe. Yeah. 
like this. Sometimes you can hit a knot. That's the problem. That's what happens, babe. I think the thing I don't like about the elk hooks is they can't just seem to get them in front of them. Yeah, that's okay. And they just fall and they hurt your arm. No, they don't hurt me. Oh, they don't? Oh, no, I didn't feel that. Not at all. See if I can move it. How's the pulling that load? Oh, it's easy. Easy? Yeah. Well, I'll show them what you got here. She's got a nice little load of firewood on that sleigh. Doing quite well, I think. That's what she's got right there. Yeah. Nice little load of firewood for the night. Not too shabby. How does it feel getting your own firewood, Heather? Good. Good, yeah. Pretty uh, pretty satisfying, eh? Being able to cut your own firewood to heat yes. your own place? Yes. Yeah, not too bad, I think, eh? Yeah. The old beast is still running like a charm. So this is all we got here today, folks. That's all we got for a load. We didn't want to load the other two big ones back there because they, they were a little heavier than these ones. And I didn't know, see how much I'm sinking in this trail here? This, we got we got a few inches of snow last night and I wasn't sure how well this was going to do in here today So I didn't really want to push the envelope. So I figured I would just uh, Yeah, I'll pack the trail with this and then perhaps uh, Perhaps we'll come get another load tomorrow once this freezes overnight today It's only about minus four degrees Celsius. So it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty nice in here and There's no other place. I would rather be than in here right now it is just a beautiful day. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to um, do up. Oh, do up the snap. I have to put the camera in there anyway, Heather. Yeah, I was trying to actually undo it. Undo it. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. I wouldn't thank me. I didn't get it undone. I'm like trying to figure it out. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so we're actually testing our new camera in here today, folks. Sorry, what's that, Heather? I got it. <laughs> you got it. Eh? So I'm, I'm trying to, it's got a Rode microphone I put on the top with uh, what they call a dead cat. It's got the fur on there in case you get wind. It is a directional mic, so I hope you can hear myself okay, and I hope you can hear Heather okay. So I, I think this will work out quite well. Anyways, uh, we're, we're going to get going, folks, and we're going to see you at home. How does that sound? Sounds good.
on the way out, I seen uh, another part tree I couldn't resist. So I dropped it down and, and I ended up loading uh, three more pieces on there. And uh, well, it's not as big a load as I normally bring, but there are still two more down in there I can go easily pick up for later. So that's not too bad. All in all, it was a pretty good day, I think. So anyways, hope you folks like the video. Uh, please hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. So you take care and we'll talk to you another time. Bye bye all.